Hey guys, here I have a calculator. Just want to illustrate a point for you. Uh, after you've done your homework, you'll be able to find out what the price per square footage is in your area. So let's assume, uh, just for illustrative purposes, that the price per square foot is 110, uh, 110 dollars a square foot. So let's see, 110. That's so that's what the price per square foot is in your area. Let's say you find a house that is 2,700 square foot. Right, and they are they have it up for sale for for two hundred and forty five thousand dollars. So two hundred forty five thousand dollars. You don't know what the price per square foot is on that. We said it's two thousand seven hundred square foot. So what we do is we take the price of the house, we divide it by the twenty seven hundred square foot. So the price divided by the square footage that will give you the price per square foot. There you go, ninety dollars and seventy-four cents. So, is this a good deal? Well, you know that if it's if it's one hundred and ten dollars per square foot is the average in your area, and you're getting it for ninety dollars a square foot, you better believe that's a good deal. So, once again, that was uh, we had the price of two hundred and forty-five thousand dollars, right? Now, if we remember that, now we says two hundred twenty-seven hundred square foot times the price per square foot is one hundred and ten. It's worth $297,000. All right, so it was $245,000 is what they're selling it for. So $297,000 minus the $245,000 that you'd be able to buy it for, you got $52,000 equity in that house. It's a good deal. So you can pick that up. Maybe you can wholesale it to somebody else, do, do some repairs around the place to, to bring the value up. You know that you've got... Uh, Somewhere within the fifty-two thousand dollars, you can you can fix it up. You'll know what your fix-up costs are. At fifty-two thousand dollars, I don't think you should spend any more than twenty-six thousand dollars on fixing that property up. If you can pull pull out the other twenty-six thousand, keep in mind there are some costs, like I talked about in the last video, in, in getting started with real estate investing. You got to know the costs that are involved, like the realtor fee, the uh, commissions that you'll pay the realtor when you sell the property, it's gonna be 6% of the, the property. So at 297,000 of what it's worth, you're gonna be using 17,000 of that to pay commissions. That's a good check for that realtor. So uh, out of that $52,000, you're looking at uh, $35,000 as, as possible profit, minus whatever you have to put in the property to bring it up to that $297,000 property. So these are the things to keep in your mind. You have to be able to find the value of the property and, uh, and be able to figure out if you're going to make a profit. That's the key.